This is a scene with which you are probably familiar. You might be surprised to learn that everything you see here is the result of an age-old partnership between bees and flowering plants. In this partnership, forager bees visit flowers and bring nectar and pollen back to the hive. The nectar is used to make honey, and the pollen provides the bees with protein and necessary nutrients. As they visit the flowers, forager bees carry pollen grains from plant to plant. This assures that the plants are fertilized and allows them to produce seeds for the next generation. Ecologists call this kind of partnership a mutualism. This mutualism allows plants to be pollinated and produce many flowers, fruits, and vegetables. We enjoy the literal fruits of this process. But this partnership is under threat. Unfortunately, modern agricultural practices have caused bee populations to disappear worldwide in a phenomenon known as colony collapse disorder. Two of these practices are monoculture farming and intensive pesticide use. Monoculture farms replace natural diversity with only one type of crop, such as corn, grown over vast tracts of land. Just like us, bees need a balanced diet to be healthy. Monoculture farms don't provide the variety of pollen and nectar that they need to survive. Also, with only one type of crop, a single pest can wipe out an entire area. This means that many harmful pesticides are needed to grow monocultures. For these two reasons, growing monocultures contributes to colony collapse. When a forager bee visits a monoculture, it is exposed to a class of highly toxic pesticides called neonicotinoids. These pesticides interfere with the bee's navigation system and make it difficult for them to relocate the hive. Bee colonies depend on these forager bees for proper nutrition. When the forager bees are lost or do not bring back enough food, their colonies weaken and collapse. With no colonies, there can be no bees. Without bees to pollinate the crops, the crops disappear. As a result, we lose many of the products that we are accustomed to consuming. In order to alleviate this colony collapse disorder and protect the long-standing relationship between bees and plants, we need to make croplands more hospitable to bees. Growing varied crops with fewer pesticides helps bees get proper nutrition and stay healthy. These changes can keep colony collapse disorder at bay. By taking steps to help protect bee populations, we can make sure that the partnership between bees and plants stays strong and that sites like this will be around for years to come.